Tell us about laundry day, Granny. All from start to finish. You mean from the time we laundry carried, days. You mean from the time we carried the first bucket of water. Yep. <laughs> so you didn't have you didn't have indoor plumbing, no running no, water in the house. No. So you carried water from the spring. Yeah. For for years we did that. And then what? We didn't have running water until uh, after we built that house up there. Where did mommy say? Mm -hmm. That's when we got running water. So how'd you do laundry? We carried water from the spring. From two springs. One on each side of the house. You put it in the wood stove tank to heat it. Mm -hmm. But then when you needed more hot water, you put it on the stove in a, this big canner. Yeah. And would heat it like that. You build a fire outside and you put your tub out there with, with water in it to boil your white clothes. You had this big paddle like you was going to make apple butter that you stirred your clothes, turned them over. And you boiled the white clothes. Yeah. And what did you say you put in it? You put lye in lye. it? Lye. Lye in the white clothes. Yeah. Red dog lye. Red dog lye. <laughs> <laughs> and you turned your clothes, every little bit you had to go turn them clothes over, you know, keep them boiling. Then you lifted them out with that paddle and put them over the tub of cold water so you could handle them. That's where you rinsed them at. Mm -hmm. But then the colored clothes, you didn't have to boil them like blue jeans, things that way. Everything was cotton, you know. And then you, you wrung them out. You didn't uh, put them through a ring or you twisted them. <laughs> uh -huh. Sometimes it especially like a sheet or a blanket, especially a quilt. Sometimes it would take three of us to wring their quilt. Mm -hmm. But two to wring a blanket or a sheet. <clears throat> you, you took it, you pulled one end up and folded it back over and the other got all the metal part in that. And one would ring this way and one ring this way. That's how you wring the water out of it. Then you took them out and hung them on the line with just slip on clothespins that wasn't in springs. Mm -hmm. And then you hung the denim over the fence rails, over the palings. We had a paling fence around one house that we, that was easier to put them on and get them off of was the paling fence. Mm -hmm. And you said the denim back then was real heavy. Oh yeah. Real thick. And you had to iron every piece of it, yeah. And you ironed even the washcloth. <laughs> we did, yeah. <laughs> I'd say we was training, but I remember us in, we was little, yeah. but we ironed anyway. And you Flat used things. the the cast yeah. iron irons that you put on the, over the fire? That you put on the fire. And you kept two, three on most of the time, because two would iron lots of time. But Mommy had three, I would think she had four, but they was three, one was a little bit. I guess that's the one we trained on, <laughs> was the little bit. But uh, Daddy made us this ironing board was it just a board or was it covered in cloth of some sort? No, we we folded a sheet and put over it. Oh. Uh -huh. It was made out of chop sacks. That's right. And your sheets <laughs> for your beds were made out of chop sacks. What you fed the hogs was chop. Feed bags, basically. And it was feed bags, but it was called chop. Chop. And that's what you put in your slot to feed the hogs. Mm. And then you made your pillowcases and sheets out of dairy feed that you bought for your cows in the wintertime. And what about your dresses? You said those were printed? They were... The flowers print, on them or something? Yeah, they were print material different kinds, yeah. One, one feed sack would make either one of us a dress, you know, when we was growing up until we, until we quit making them out of feed sacks. But uh, it was just cotton material. Mm -hmm. Some had little flares and some had big flares and some were striped. But when you go to to get your dairy feed, you picked out the color you wanted. So mommy always went for that or she'd show daddy she, what she, she picked wanted. out which, so you'd pick the feed bag based on the, the 
what the material was on the bag itself. <laughs> yeah, well, it was all the same. It's all the same feet. Yeah, it was just just a different, different cloth. Yes, yeah. and if she was going to make a sheet, she made sure that each time you got one just alike to make the sheet. So you can match it. Yeah. Otherwise, you look it ridiculous. Took four. <laughs> it took four to make it. Yeah. Or to make a quilt lining, mm -hmm. it would take four. And we make quilt linings out of it. Because we bought lots of feed. <laughs> and for our dresses, just me and Dorothy then. Because Zola didn't have to have that because we had different means for the time she was there. But uh, Mommy could use one, one feed sack to make us a dress. Mm -hmm. We were so proud of them dresses. That was our first day of school to wear our new Beats, dress. Beats I remember a blue, a blue print. It looked like uh, clover bloom is uh -huh. what I've got in my mind. It looked like blue, blue. And I thought that was the prettiest dress. And I was so proud. That I was like Dolly Parton. I was proud to wear that to school. Nobody made fun because they didn't have no better than we did. If they made fun, we never did know it. I didn't know a difference. Because they yeah. wore it the same like we did. So... And the boys all said Miss Maud made her underwear out of Air Billy Flyer. That's that. <laughs> that was striping. <laughs> but it's cloth sack, blue mm. striping. And then come out of Kentucky, and so that's the only flyer sacks I ever seen. In blue cloth stripe. sacks. They blue and white striping. And flyer come in. I mean, you know, flyer works through a cloth sack. I don't know why flyer would have been in that, but it was. <laughs> but I know Daddy bought a load of it. Yeah. I guess the whole pallet, because they didn't want it. And you, but, you guys had a, then you got a gasoline powered washer. Washer, our first washer was, a, it had this motor on the bottom, and uh, you had to put gasoline in it, yeah. And you had a pull it start it with. Mm -hmm. Like a lawnmower. And it had a belt on it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, like a lawnmower. But uh, then... What, what year was that, give or take? That had to been in the 40s, probably. Mm -hmm. And then we got electric, but then still regular type. Yeah. Because you couldn't, uh, you couldn't have used automatic without running water. But after we were now, we had running water when we got the electric because we had a well drill. Our well is in that dirty that mommy's house. That was the well. Mm -hmm. And we had running water. But uh, then sulfur got in it. We couldn't, you had to boil it before you could use it. So then we got county water. But that was, well, I guess. After they, you left by then, right? Yeah, about the time I left, they got the county water. But. Uh, yeah, we had sulfur water. It wasn't in the beginning, but uh, they said a, a stream broke in it, and you had to boil it. Not it turns your clothes brown. Yeah, the, the sulfur clothes would turn them brown. And tell me, you yeah. said even in the winter time you had to do this, do the laundry, before when you were still doing the wash tubs and everything. Oh yeah. You had to do the laundry in the winter time outside, and then you freeze dried. The clothes, right? <laughs> yeah, when it was cold, it was windy. I mean, they would freeze still. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, you hung them out summer and winter. It didn't matter. And if they were frozen, you had to leave them. You left them, let them freeze dry. And then what? until what? If you took them off, you went out, and you had to be careful. Take them pins off, or if you had to take them off of the fence rail, you picked them up with both hands and brought them in and, and let them. Yeah. You didn't bend. <laughs> But uh, then you ironed them and until she got paint stretchers, but you still ironed them. Mm. A lot easier to do. You, you said you, you burned your eyebrows with the lye? The can of lye, she always saved upon a high post so no children didn't mess with it. And it had, I guess, blew off or whatever, and I picked it up and the lid had come loose. And, well, you know, I was small and I didn't realize I had done my hand and I, when once I rubbed my eye, I rubbed it, I kept rubbing. Kept rubbing, yeah. And mommy was gone. She took, I guess it was probably Doyle to the doctor. 
And we wasn't supposed to be in Washington while she was gone, but Dorothy decided we could have it done when she'd come back. Yeah. And we was doing it. And it like scared Dorothy to death because I got that fly in my eye. I know she, she run in the house and got some lard and put on it. <laughs> mm. And I don't know if that's what stopped it or what, but I don't think you're supposed to put lard down for something like that. But it was a burn, yeah. you know. And she didn't know nothing else to put on. She just run in and got lard put on. And mommy was back in the Where was office. Dennis at this time? Chucking I, somebody's head? I'm, I'm sure he was there <laughs> doing his chores, I'm sure. But you know, Dennis went to work. I don't know, he was 15 or 16. Well, he did too. Mm -hmm. And Ray was but about uh, probably 16 when he got his first job. Mm -hmm. As Lee said, I lied about my age then and now I lie about it and said it back. <laughs> <laughs> he changed it on his birth certificate. Yeah. He went in the mines, 16. Tell us about the mines and his experience there. Oh, no, I don't know much about the mines because some of them was, I never went in but one and I just went a little ways back. It wasn't one of these big mines. It was underground, but it wasn't. We got air cold from there in the winter because it's up on the, you know, like going into Mommy's now, it was down over that hill, but we lived down the other way and you had to go up on the hill and get it. Yeah, they did, you know, Daddy and the boys did. And I went back in there a little ways and I thought, oh, that's not for me. <laughs> but now Daddy worked in mines, well, they all did, that they had to lay down to go in. They had to lay down to get in there. They went on a man trip. They called it. The tread lay down. But uh, even in some places, the coal was so low that they had to lay down and dig it with a pick. It wasn't like it is down. They used a pick. And they used ponies to haul it out. They didn't have a conveyor belt. Wow. So they used ponies. Mm. And they used ponies up till, I guess it was in the 50s, probably. Really? Before they like, developed the machinery to get it out. Well, they didn't. They didn't have all the conveyor belts and all that. They had coal cars. I don't know what they looked like or nothing like that. That they brought the men out on most of the time, you know. But uh, that's how Lee cut his finger off, and caught the roof. It was that low. Mm -hmm. You had to lay down. So, mm. but uh, I, I didn't venture going in no mines. <laughs> never breathe. Had no business in there. I was never breathe. <laughs> but now you I were have, a coal miner's daughter, but not a coal miner. I was a coal miner's daughter, one hundred percent, because that's what he made a living at. Well, up until uh, he bought a sawmill, and that was probably in the in the sixties, fifties or sixties. Him and another man <clears throat> had a sawmill. And then he went back to uh, stripping coal, you know, working for a company. And then he had his property stripped, and he worked on that. He was still a doing that when he passed away. He was 65 mm -hmm. then. So, I mean, he made a living in coal mine. But, well, that's what everybody in the area, that's all you had in Kentucky, Virginia, and West Virginia, mm -hmm. in this area was coal mines. Mm -hmm. So, and there was no jobs hardly for women, period. There wasn't very many women worked because they raised the children, they kept the house, and, and they just didn't go out on a public job. So, so it was, uh, it was different then. Hmm. Yeah. Now, after we got running water and after we got a, uh, washing machine we thought we was in hog heaven <laughs> we didn't have to rub on the board no more and you'd wear you is lord Adeline says you wore blisters on your fingers you definitely did and wringing them anything be yeah you wore blisters in your hands mm -hmm. and on the boards you wore you wore sores on your fingers because mm -hmm. <laughs> they was just you've seen a washboard because i give becky mine mm -hmm. And that's what you washed on. And mommy had one, it was a knobby like. It wasn't just the straight 
I'm not like you see head had like little knobs raised up all the way across each row. Mm -hmm. It was rough on your fingers, but it was better to wash. But it washed better than just the ridges. Yeah, you especially the denim you washed on that. Yeah, the one one mom has is that you gave her. It's like made out of brass or something, and it's got yeah little ridges, ridges on it. Yeah, but that's what you washed the clothes on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? They say it makes better people out there that have to work like that. <laughs> We've gotten soft, Granny. We have. <laughs> We've got used to air conditioning. We've got used to everything automatic, even the microwave. And I don't know why I don't have a maid to carry my microwave food out here, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you should. You should. No, now, really and truly, I used to think like on wash day, that was the day you cleaned the windows, you scrubbed the floors, because you used that rinse water to do all of that with, because mm -hmm. your water was precious, precious when you had to carry it. Yeah. But that's what we always did, and I did that for years. Well, I'd say up until Donnie was probably eight or ten years old. Yeah. I had certain days I thought I had to do my laundry, and I was up sometimes two o'clock in the morning because I had to do the windows and I had to scrub the floors, the porch. And, you know, I really thought I On had laundry to do day. It. Yeah. You couldn't let go of the, no. of the old way. <laughs> no. I did my laundry on Tuesday and I had to get it done before I went to bed because I had to work next day. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I thought I had to do it. I don't believe in that no more. <laughs> <laughs> You've since let that go? <laughs> We used to have feather pillows, and every spring we had to empty them feathers in a chop sack, wash the tick, the what's feather tick. What's a feather tick? It's almost like denim. It's a coarse, little white strappy, coarse material, but it's ticking material is what it's called for, for bedding, hmm. like for a feather bed or a feather pillow. We would have to empty them out we put them in a chop sack so they wouldn't scatter. We had to wash the tick, get that dry, and then we put it back and had to seam it back up on the end. Oh, wow. She didn't use her sewing machine to do that. You done that with your fingers. And it was, it was it felt more like denim when you was trying to sew it. It's, it's kind of ticking material this one. And it's then what, called. did you put a pillowcase over top of it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's just what held the feathers all in place. Yeah. That's what you made your pillow out of. You mm. just and mommy made her pillows. I remember her getting this big roll of ticking material. And yes, she made her even her pillow ticks. <laughs> pillow ticks. And then you put the the feathers in it. See we when we would kill chickens to can, you saved all the feathers. You didn't throw them. The away. down down feathers, the small ones? You, you saved them all except tail and wing feathers. Yeah. You didn't save them, but you did everything else. And that's what you made your pillows out of? Yeah. Chicken feathers. Yeah, you saved all your feathers, yeah. Goose feathers or, or chicken feathers or... I mean, just like, you know, where the chickens will shed and you'll see them fluff their sand. Yeah, we picked up feathers out of the yard. Oh, really? Yeah, you saved them. She had a... Uh, a bag that you just went and put them in when you picked yeah. them up. And eventually you, you have that. enough to make a pillow. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. But you don't do that no more. No. <laughs> well, it's just so much easier and cheaper to go yeah. buy a pillow, right? Oh, yeah. I don't want no feather pillow. Everything's like that. Now, we had, like, feather beds. And we had to empty them out the same way. And wash that feather tick. Because we didn't have, uh, you know, covers that you put over them like you can get now. Yeah. You, you had to wash it. Hmm. Now, them was hard to manage. When you tried wringing them out, now, them we had to hang over the fence and, and let them drip a while, and then we'd have to go turn them around because the sun would hit the other way to let them dry enough till you could dry. Because it was such a thick material? Mm -hmm. Mm. That was hard to do. Now, we didn't empty them out every year, but we emptied them out every so often. I don't know how often it was. But... Yeah. Feather ticks. Never heard of them. 
we even made uh, straw ticks. We put straw in. Yeah. And we made. Good for pillows? For a, a bed. Mattress. mattress. Oh. And we, we used shucks. We had shuck ticks. Corn shucks? We had to uh, pull them shucks on, you know, kind of like shredding them. Fluff them up. You didn't leave no, like the end where you would shuck and leave that hard in. We had to take all that off. Yeah. Well, actually, they make good beds, mm -hmm. but they would wear out in a year or two. Them shucks would, you know. They compress it and it'd yeah. be hard. Yeah. But we had to sun them all the time, too. Is that what you slept on as a kid? I have slept on, yeah. Mm -hmm. I slept on a feather tick, a straw tick, and a shuck tick. Shuck tick. <laughs> we called them shuck ticks. It was just a make-believe mattress was what it was. I remember the first mattresses we ever got, they were cotton-filled. Mm -hmm. They wasn't... They had springs. Like, yeah. They wasn't nothing like you would buy now, no. See, the bed had the springs on there. And I believe it was Montgomery Wards was where Mommy got them. And they were... They was padded with cotton. They was a firm mattress, all right. No, but they was mess she got too. I remember that. Did your, <laughs> did your bed have springs, or was it just ropes like the like you've seen? No, it was it was springs that it hooks onto your headboard mm. and footboards. You know, they was all made. Some of them was made together. Some one we had two that was made. Your springs was made with your rail hooked in your bed post. Mm -hmm. I think one's still over there in Dorothy's building, it's mm. mine. And uh, the others was just, just springs, the coil springs. They do, I guess that's kind of like what a box spring is now, but it's covered, they didn't used to be covered, they were just coil springs. Mm -hmm. And you had uh, bed rails, and you put extra, extra support under if you need to, like, wooden slats that you put on. I think mom and daddy had had a wooden bed post that grandpa made. But uh, we always had metal. Hmm. But that's comfortable. When you're tired, you didn't matter. <laughs>